This is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, June 13th, through this coming Sunday, June 19th, 2016. So if you haven't already, now is the time to embrace the positive ideas, projects, and flow that have been gaining momentum around you. This week is going to be a good time to go within. And by going within, you're going to understand your true deepest desires. And attention to your desired outcomes and setting some long-term goals is going to make you feel more accomplished. But you're, the guides are telling me and, and wanting me to emphasize for you, please set aside some quiet time, some meditative time. It doesn't have to be complicated. It's just taking some deep breaths and focusing into your heart. Just what does your heart really, 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 really want? <laughs> and those are your deepest desires. And those are going to help you define your desired outcomes and show you what kind of long-term goals you're ready to make then you're going to feel that momentum and feel, you know, through taking action that you are feeling more accomplished. So, attention to detail is going to set you on your path and provide you with tangible results. And you're going to like that even better. And please remember that you're not doing this alone. Connect to and involve your beautiful council of spirit guides and angels in every step you take. Tell them your intentions and thank them for what you need. Then pay attention. Pay attention to the ideas that pop into your head. Listen for the advice that you need. Feel your alignment as you make wise decisions. And see the helpful assistance that's seeking you. And then please take action and follow through on all these feelings and ideas and aha moments and guidance. Your guides can only lead you. They cannot take the steps for you. So get involved in your life and embrace your joy. Beautiful message for this week. And we're using the Angel Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. This lovely artwork by Steve A. Roberts. And we've got our three rows, money, success, and well-being. And let's see what we've got this week. Emotions. <laughs> I'm going to lay these out and then I will go over each card in detail to give you all the energy for the week and how you can use it best for yourself, your personal needs. Okay, starting on your money row, we're starting out with the Knight of Earth. Knights are on a quest. Knights want to get things done. And this beautiful knight is all about your money. All Earth is your material world and your money and your physical well-being. And they're telling you that it's time to buckle down and get things done and go ahead and honor those commitments and realize that this, is, again, you're not alone. You've got guardian angels helping you. So this knight says you're loyal, you're dedicated, you're honorable, and you're kind. So remember those attributes and everything you approach this week to um, things where you want to get things done, you're going to do well and allow other people who are loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind to assist you. But this night is reminding you all the seeds you plant now, everything that you're doing now towards those long-term goals is going to grow and increase like investments. That investment of time or money is going to grow in positive ways. So have confidence around that. Then these water cards are emotions. And the Ace of Water, beautiful reminder that you've got 
resurgence of a relationship or you're going to fall in love. The spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, a new home if you're needing to move. Aces are beginnings. So this is an emotional beginning in matters of the heart. And it's here in your money row. So it's reminding you to follow your heart for your financial success as well. This is about, you know, this falling in love is also falling in love with your life. Falling in love with what you are doing. Very, very vital ace of water energy for you, for your financial success and for your overall success. Follow your passions. You're not going to do well at anything you're not passionate about. Because if you're just going to be bored <laughs> if you're not really invested in those emotional ideas. So a nice reminder, your emotional alignment for your money success. Then the four of water says you might feel like you're missing an opportunity and there's that boredom again, which happens when you're focused on the wrong thing. I love this card. Here she is. She's looking at the empty cups. There's nothing in these cups. And she's just focusing and telling that story and explaining all the things that are wrong with these cups. But right here, right in front of her, it's this beautiful, sparkly, abundant, filled with creativity, filled with money and emotional wellness cup. All she needs to do is turn her head a little bit. Change her focus. Stop focusing on lack. Stop focusing on what you perceive as missing in your life. Just turn a little bit and start identifying all the goodness. And you can start really, really simply. Whatever it is in your life that you're happy about, you know, if the sun is shining or your headache's gone or you found a dime on the ground, that's abundance. That's positive flow. So you just want to build on that. Keep building on what's going right, and then you'll focus on this beautiful abundant cup. These little lack and empty cups fall away. And you are aware of the possibilities. You are aware of the goodness. And you can take action to increase those. Now for your success world. I love it. We're starting out with the world. Number 21, Archangel Michael. This is, you've done the work. You've gotten, you know, job well done. Focus on that joy. Tap into that commitment. And make gratitude the theme of your day, the gratitude, the theme of everything you're doing. And this is the path toward enlightenment, which is spiritual growth, spiritual connection. Absolutely beautiful alignment for you. Starting out your success row. You know, all these emotions sort of here on your money row. Remember, you're on this quest. You're creating things in your life. And the world says you're going to get it right. Nothing's going to go wrong. The world's going around and you're right there in the center in the middle and Archangel Michael is completely helping you. So just kind of take a deep breath. I love this message because it's telling you start from success. Just assume everything's fallen in place. Everything is amazing and the way you want it to be. And please feel that emotionally. Not just, you know, oh, I want this one thing. I want to achieve this one thing. You've got to be involved in the emotion of living that thing for it to be um, enriching to you and not empty. So the Queen of Earth, she's pulling right here off of this beautiful, the world, Archangel Michael, this uh, Knight of Earth, the Queen of Earth says as well. You've got the money, things are growing, you've got your health, it's getting better. So appreciate your family, appreciate those beautiful people around you who assist you, those people who are thoughtful, creative, warm, and sensitive. They're here to help you this week. So just take a deep breath, take a little bit more sensible approach. Don't get lost in these emotions. We've got more emotions coming in your well-being. So 
yeah, you don't want to get lost in the emotions. I love this. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Just take a deep breath. Ask your guides to help you to be guided by love. And thank you for the highest outcome for everyone involved. And see the money flying through the air? <laughs> this is a pot of gold. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. She's just conjuring a pot of gold. Beautiful Queen of Earth energy. Going back to the world, reminding you it's all set. You've got that pot of gold. What do you want to do with it? Allow yourself to get a little bit more creative, a little bit more stability around you. And the Two of Fire loves that stability because it's reminding you that you've come into your own. Again, there are people to help you. That's those new partnerships. And maybe there's some contracts in your life that you're getting ready to put in place that are all positive. And this helps you to move forward. Two is bringing things to you and fire is taking action. So here you are, you're not alone. Not only do you have this fabulous dragon, but you've got partnerships to help you and you've got your council of spirit guides and angels. They're all there just waiting to give you all the guidance that you need. So set, tell them your intentions. Tell them and thank them for what you need. Fantastic cards this week for our success row. <laughs> success all around you. The world, it's there. Now for well-being. The, <laughs> the ten of fire says too much work. You're getting overwhelmed. Just a little bit on the inside. Just a little bit emotionally. Focus again knowing with this two of fire, the queen and the knight of earth and Archangel Michael, you're not alone. So go ahead and tell people what you need. L allow, there's a big word, allow people to help you. It's easy for us to, you know, give and give and give to others, but sometimes it's a little bit hard to receive. So <laughs> accept help from others. Because if you don't, life is going to be out of balance. And any health concerns or stress-related I feel like this is this pot of gold and he's kind of torching it a little bit or protecting it, kind of wrapped around it. So protect what you have. Tins are doorways, so go through that doorway with all your help to allow this goodness to assist you. And that will make you feel a little bit more balanced, feel a little bit more of that well-being. And I like this, actually. These two cards go together really well. Too much work means that you're going to evaluate things and you're going to think about how can I do this better. And then this beautiful aid of water flows right with that, a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. So this card is asking you, what is it that you can allow to fall away? What do you maybe need to walk away from that's no longer serving you, that's, that's stressing you out, that you don't need anymore? And see the light shining through the water? That's beckoning her. Come on up here. Don't look at all these little empty cups that are bogging you down. Rise to the top. Just float on up. Follow those sunbeams. That beautiful light has your answers, has your well-being, has things that are not stressful where people are honoring you and helping you and money is flowing and your health is fabulous and it's all good. It's all good. So pay attention, this desire to move on. What is it that you need to reassess and realign in your life to allow things to flow more easily for you. And then the Six of Water. This is like a, a nostalgic card. This is, we have memories from our childhood and memories from our past that are very thoughtful and loving and we kind of want to go over those and think about that. And if you've got children or maybe issues regarding your own childhood, this is... This is your well-being robe. This is part of your going within. It's all very positive. 
but I just want to say this romanticizing the past. Remember that life is about moving on. It's about moving forward. It is never, ever about moving backwards or by about repeating something that you've done already. Because if you tried to go back to that relationship or that job or that place or that thing, you're different now. So going back isn't going to feel comfortable. It's going to feel funny and weird and you can't reclaim those things because at that time you were a different person. And now you've had this enlightenment, <laughs> this world, this success, this getting to know yourself and being more authentic. So it's about moving forward, very much pulling directly off this eight of water. What is it that you need to leave behind? So go ahead and pull the happy memories, pull the goodness, pull the love, pull the creativity, pull all the goodness from the past, and then carry it forward. Take it with you. Move on with it. Create the new thing that is more in alignment, more authentically honoring who you are now. Because now you're this beautiful, wonderful fresh new person who's excited about their future and that's where your flow is so <laughs> don't let this emotion bog you down this week focus on this beautiful getting your world in order complete success for you so um if you would like personal clarity answers understanding about exactly what's going on in your life, what's on your soul map, and the blueprint that you set up for this lifetime. Call me, have a reading with me. Um, all the information is on my website, which is spiritpathways.net. And I would love to help you in any way that I can. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.